Hello friends and subscribers, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World over here on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal and this is my uh, extremely geeky uh, YouTube channel, one of my now growing monopoly of YouTube channels, panoply of YouTube channels, where I talk about all manner of tech stuff. I want to do a deep dive today into honestly what I think is just like one of the best apps uh, out there. It's, you know, so many apps are marginally useful or a complete waste of time and this is potentially life-saving um but at a minimum very very useful it's called metasafe it's i use android but you can also get it on um on the apple devices and basically what this is is a medication reminder app and i just want to give a quick sort of tour of the features and how you can use it and whatnot so basically the, there's two main use cases for this or reasons to use it the first one is uh, medication reminders. So this thing can throw up reminders about your medication. What I actually use it for is simply logging my medication. Um, if you take medication every day, it's extremely easy to get into the habit of, you know, popping a pill and then forgetting about it. And then like an hour later, you're like, oh, did I take that or not? And that always, that's a bad situation to be in because the advice is often don't double up on the med, but that means you miss a dose. So if you're taking something like an SSRI, like fluvoxamine, the one I take, um, it's really better to be kind of diligent about when you're taking it and the fact you're taking it. So you can use notifications and you can log your doses. So just to show you, here's my like medication routine. You can see I'm on a kind of uh, ridiculous array of medications, fluvoxamine, Relvar, uh, multi antidepressant, or uh, uh, anti-blood pressure drug. And then there's stuff I've added here that I ideally take that I almost never take, like a multivitamin and a probiotic. Oh my gosh, uh, I need to update this a little bit, but that's okay because I can show you guys how to update your medication schedule in the purpose of, uh, in, the, in the process of doing this. So this is what it looks like. You add your meds, and then I've just taken my fluvoxamine. I'll click on fluvoxamine and I'll click on setup for 10 a.m. So it regards me as having missed the dose because it's now half 12 or half one actually. But I click take and I say, okay, I took the med now. And now that's in my system, right? So I can go, I can do a left, you know, click and I can see, okay, the day before I took it at 12.37. So no, no big deal. I took it an hour late. And I may as well up the dosing time to midday. Um, and I can go back through my meds yesterday. So I'm not super diligent about, about you know, for this for every single med, but I, I really should be because it's just, that's what it's there for. So here is sort of the key features, I would say, is adding your medications. Um, so this is, again, this is just, these are meds I've taken over the course of like, I don't know, the past 10 years or something. So there's a lot of stuff here that I don't take anymore, but I've added into the system. So if you take a medication, let's try to add a medication. Let's say we wanted to add, I don't know, you're taking, uh, and this can do every med, not just mental health meds, but I'm just going to kind of roll with this as an example. Let's say you're taking Lexapro. So you add Lexapro and it's got the common dosages in there. Now, some people take unusual or higher doses of Lexapro. So let's say we're one of those rare people. So we can actually configure the dose manually. You can also kind of say what you're taking it for, and then you can set up your uh, your dosing. So one pill at, and let's say you want to take it at 2200 hours. Okay. And you can even set a treatment duration. So if you're only, if you, there's a start and an end date, you're on a course of, let's say, antibiotics, you can set that as well. In this case, I'm not going to set a treatment duration. So I'm going to save Lexapro. Okay, wonderful. And now when I go to my... Now again, I don't have notifications set up, but when you set up this app, if you're a normal person, um, go for the notifications if you want this to give it a little bell alert thingy. And now if I go to my home screen, I should see that Lexapro has been added to my list of meds. And it will alert me at 10 to take it. If I'm no longer taking Lexapro and I want to delete, delete it or I want to change some something about it, like the dosing time, I can change something about it by, I can change the reminder time um, and I can even give it a name. So remember I said it's, let's pretend I'm taking 30 mgs of Lexapro. So I can just save that as 30 mgs because it's not there. 
and the medication strength, I can also just configure that in this manner as well. 30 milligrams set. And I can even add some custom instructions, like any other instructions uh, take with food. And this will all be added to this, associated with this drug. And if you take a drug multiple times a day, you can configure that as well here. Okay. Um, for example, if you're taking it every eight hours, you can, it'll give you reminders at these times. So what I'm going to actually do, and then you can toggle off the reminder if you just want to use the like me as a logging tool and you don't want to be reminded, uh, you can do that too. So let's say I want to remove the medications. For instance, I'm not taking Sarico for sleep anymore. I can just click on the delete icon and it's going to delete all future doses of Saraquil. Um, it'll stop it, in, but I can keep it in my history, right? So it's still going to be there under whatever it is, under S. Um, so if I go back to taking it, another feature is if, uh, if you take a medication irregularly, like, I don't know, I'm... Arcoxia is a painkiller and I just happen to take a dose. So I, I record everything in this app. Even if I just take paracetamol, which I don't do that regularly, uh, which is for Americans. I forget it's uh, acetamifen, Tylenol, I think. I would just put that in because you never know. It's always good, I think, to have an accurate rec record of what meds you take. Um, so that's the main screen. I wanted to show one more thing and that's in the settings. You can click into more. And here you can go into uh, settings here. You can also configure refill reminders based on how many times you take the med. You can get out a report. But I'm just going to show you guys set up, setting up the alerts, how that works. So click into settings. Make sure your alerts are, your notifications are turned on. Then go for uh, general settings. Medication reminders. Uh, pop-up notification, if you want the reminders to be a bit more aggressive, you can do always show your pop-up notifications. And you might need to give it a permission for that to work, so that's not going to work now because I didn't give it the permission. Um, and you can even do this kind of shake to take the medication thing. One more thing you can configure on that same page is a notification sound. Uh, so currently it's no sound, or sorry, it's not no sound. Uh, but you can pick a ringtone for your notifications, and they have. That's the default notification. It's a shaking pillbox sound. So that to me is like you know a very clever idea. Uh, there and then they have all these kind of funny ones as well, like meds time. It is your meds time. It is your meds time. And then and then you can just set ones from your phone as well. So again, as I said many a few times now, I don't use notifications um, because I like it to be a bit more discreet. But if you want to get the notifications and you don't want that meds shaking thing that might kind of be a bit too undiscreet for you, you can click the no sound uh, option and you'll get the notifications without the uh, without any sound. And that's basically it. So just to kind of recap here. Um, the home pages you want to set up your first thing you want to do is set up your medications, your active meds. Um, I've added a laundry list. Most people are just on a few meds. I, I've I've kind of added each dose whenever I was on a med, and that's just my way of doing it. But it's not the way it's really intended to work. So just add your meds, and then they'll appear on your home screen. Set up the dosing time, and you will get notifications. And when you do take your medication, just every single time, never pop a pill without logging it. Right. So if I take allopurinol, you click on the medication and you click on take or skip, but just record what you did. And this will prevent you from missing doses. This will prevent you from accidentally redosing. It's amazing. My only complaint is that it doesn't exist on the computer. It's only a smartphone application. Um, but create an account and it will sync between devices. So if you change over to a new phone, um, you'll be able to retain the medication history you've built up in the device. And yeah, it's just super useful. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful for people taking their meds and uh, highly recommend it.